Hey guys, I Dave Moore here. Just wanted to do a product review on something that I just got in the mail um, today, actually. Um, it is a product made for a flashlight, so it is a light product, and it is a collaboration product between Costa Ludus, Chris Costa, and a company called Theorem, T H Y R M. Um, pretty cool name. The product is called the Theorem Switchback, and what it is is this. Up close, it's a flashlight attachment. Okay, and it does two things. Two great things, actually. Number one is it adds a pocket clip. A lot of large lights, like the Surefire Fury, Surefire G2X, um, Streamlight Pro Tech, they do not come with a pocket clip. So you put it in your pocket, it falls down, it turns sideways. Uh, Nobody knows whether you have your uh, wiener in your pants or it's a flashlight. So it has a pocket clip, which I like. Obviously, it clips to your pocket. Beautiful. The thing about the pocket clip that I like is it is a plastic or polymer or whatever you want to call it really, but it is a plastic based pocket clip, which does two things. Number one, it will not snag on your clothing. And number two, it will not tear your clothing. A lot of those metal pocket clips are sharp on the edges and they're really, really rigid. So it gets caught in your pants, it'll tear a hole in them, they get stuck. It's hard to get it clipped and it's hard to get it unclipped. So this pocket clip, being plastic, does not do either of those. It's easy to clip to your pants and it slides off your pants with no problem. The other thing that it does is it gives you this loop now this loop is for your hand so if you've ever used a pocket light to search you kind of hold it like this right well this loop gives you kind of a platform to push the button so you got it looped in your finger you can search around do your searches and it kind of gives you something to where you don't have to squeeze it I mean you can even hold it open hand and just push the button so it gives you that. Now the loop also makes it easy to draw the flashlight. You just grab the loop out of your pocket and you're up. <clears throat> now that's step one of this product. Step two, this was designed to utilize with a weapon, with a handgun. So how you do that is you just flip it. Now it works like this. <clears throat> now a lot of people have lights on their gun, like I do. But if you don't have this light, or this light dies and you have this light handy it gives you a platform to use on your handgun so as you see normal use flip it and this little ridge here is for your thumb now the trick is squeezing your index finger is looping it all the way through that loop and then resting your thumb on that you get two-handed grip and there you go. Every time you squeeze your thumb, it lights the light up. Now, this is not something that you're going to buy and all of a sudden be a pro with it. It took me some time to get the feel to how to utilize it with a handgun. Now, you're going to sacrifice grip. Your grip will be sacrificed, but you will have a light available if you do not have one on your weapon or that light goes down. So. The trick is, you squeeze, hook your index finger all the way, get your grip, and get your thumb on there. And then you just push. So it gives you that momentary on. Hopefully this is in the camera frame. Gives you that momentary on view of the light. So, now, the one thing is you have to kind of learn how to get it adjusted right off the bat so that whenever you use it, your light is shining straight and on target. Because being kind of top heavy, it'll tend to kind of hang down, and your light will be on, on its feet. So you just kind of want to make sure that you're squeezing that index finger, hooking it, hooking your index finger all the way through, as tight as you can, to get that light right to the perfect spot. And it's not easy at first. It takes time getting used to, but 
like anything, you gotta train with it. You train with it constantly, and you can get pretty good with it. You can see I'm already starting to get kind of proficient using it. So, now I've only had this for a few hours, but like I said you gotta train with it. So, it pretty much gives you a great option to use a handgun with a light if you do not have a light on your handgun. Another thing, this isn't a big thing, but if you're using it, searching around, this little thumb bump could be used as an improvised weapon. It could give you some whacking, some whacking power with it. Now, it's plastic, it might break and it might cut your hand, but whatever. If you think about it like this, having a flashlight in your hand gives you some grip strength, then having that bump gives you some poking power, some uh, whatever the word is, but it get, gives you a little hard, sharp, small point as a impact weapon. But that's, uh, that's the gist of it. Basically designed to go in your pocket, you're walking around, la di da, you need to search something, do that, or if your handgun's out, give it a little flip, you're up, good to go, then if it's in your way, you can always still get your reloads and just kind of fling it out of the way. But you're going to have to practice that, as you can see, I haven't. But it is, all in all, a really nifty little product. I mean, it's, it's a great thing to use to just have a searchlight. Now, there are other products like this. There is a Raven Concealment, which I'm a big fan, obviously. But Raven Concealment makes one. It's like around the same price range. This Tyrem, Tyrem Theorem switchback is about $20, and it ships very quickly, a very good company. Raven Concealment is about $15 to $20, and theirs is a metal pocket clip, and I believe it's a rubber loop. Now, that is just mainly to have it hold on to it and just push the button. Using it with a handgun is not going to be as good. This is designed as a carry searchlight and as your handgun light. Okay, So it's designed for that. So if you're wanting an option to use it with a handgun or with a gun, you could probably even use it with a rifle. If you just kind of had the... You could use it with a rifle also. So if you want to use it with a gun, I get the switch back. If you want a rubber loop, just in case it gets caught on something and it'll break when it gets pulled, go with the Raven. But I think this is going to be better than the Raven, just because it is designed for a purpose, a specific purpose, and it's very well designed. So I would go ahead and get the Costa Ludus Theorem switchback. Right off the bat, you won't be sorry that you got it. What I'm going to do now is do a quick install. It does come with like a, an O-ring that you may or may not have to use, but the install is real easy. And uh, oh, also, it comes in two versions. It comes in a backup light size and a full size light size. This is the full size light size. So your one inch body of light. Surefire Fury, Surefire G2X, Tactical Surefire G2X, Streamlight Pro Tac HL. That is the full size size. Full size size. And the full size comes with the pocket clip. The backup size for, can't think of any offhand, but the smaller lights does not come with a pocket clip. It just comes with the, the switch, switchback system. Okay? So, there are two versions. If you're like me and you like to carry a larger, higher lumen light, then the full size is going to be the way to go. But if you have a little backup light, then get that one. Now, all of the products, the, uh, compatible products are listed on their website. I believe it's uh, theorem.com, which I'll, I'll verify that. We'll put a link down here in the crotch box. But there are two sizes. This is the full size version. So it is the one inch body of light. And what I'm gonna do now is do a quick install. As you can see, I, I got the up close going on now here for the install. Now, this is how the packaging comes. And it's a nice little plastic container. Now it says, cost to switch back, tactical flashlight ring. You've got your switchback and then you have a extra o-ring 
Now the back here, it does denote that this is for the large, the full-size lights, compatible with the Surefire G2X, P2X, P3X, 6PX, Z2X, G2ZX, and some older models. Now the backup, which this is, this is not the backup, fits the Surefire EB1, EB2 only, without the shroud, not the E1B. So full size will fit most of your one inch body lights it seems like. So taking it out of the package. Out of the way, take out your switch back and your O-ring. Now, according to the instructions, light, O-ring, switch back, tail cap. Mine didn't install like a lot of people's did on videos I watched. Mine did not use this O-ring. When I use the O-ring, I cannot get the top cap on enough to hit momentary on. So I did not use the O-ring. Now it is supposed to be a firm install and it's not supposed to rotate around the light at all. Mine does rotate. That O-ring would take care of it, but I think the G2X is an exception. The O-ring is too big. It does not allow the top cap to completely close. Now you may or may not need the O-ring according to the theorem. So if you don't use the O-ring, no big deal. You don't need it. So here's how it goes. Unscrew your top cap. Lefty Lucy, top cap is off. If you were to use the O-ring, you would put the O-ring all the way around until it hits the shoulder here. So you would have it go all the way around until it was down there, okay? I am not going to use the O-ring, so we're gonna skip that. What you do is you take your theorem switch back and you just put it on until it stops. Place your top cap on and start to turn it. Once you get to a point to where you, your fingers cannot reach in there, there is a hole inside of this loop. Put your thumb there and hold it and turn. And just tighten it down. As you can see, it's all the way on. So switch it until it turns off. Now you have momentary on and it is properly installed. As you can see, mine does rotate. Apparently, it is not supposed to do that. But I'll show you, actually. If I put that O-ring on, let me, take, let me take this back off. If I put the O-ring on, now I watched Theorem's install. Put the O-ring all the way down. You put your switch back on. Okay, put your top cap on. As I tighten it, this O-ring starts to pop over the shoulder. And as you can see, the momentary is not working. So that's why I did not use the O-ring because it's not allowing the light to work. Now maybe I'm doing this wrong, but I watched Theorem's install instructions and that's what they said to do so I'm gonna go ahead and say that I do not need to use the o-ring let me get this o-ring back off here now okay install two put it on top cap twist it up Now the momentary on switches and the clicky switches are going to install differently. It says that the momentary on usually need this O-ring and that the clicky ones usually don't need the O-ring. But like I said, I think mine is a exception because I'm installing it properly, but it's still moving around. But it doesn't really bother me. So that's the install of the Theorem Switchback. All right, guys. So there you have it. That is the Costa Theorem switchback. Like I said, this is a collaboration between Chris Costa and Theorem. Um, as if I remember correctly, Theorem is only really making two products and that's a switchback for the large and backup light. So this is definitely a product that is worth checking out. Let me tell you, it's because it gives you a nice retention ring for just doing basic searching around to lost your keys. You think there's a marauder underneath your car, it gives you a platform 
a solid platform to use this light. And if you have a rifle, a shotgun, uh, and you're coming out, you can use it and you're grabbing. You can use it with a rifle or a shotgun, so it can be used with multiple guns and it can be used with a pistol as I showed you. You want to make sure that you are looping, pulling through with your index finger real good and then you can get that, that beam straight on the same muzzle trajectory. So it's a great light or a great accessory. I think this will beat Ravens. Um, I haven't used Ravens but I think it will beat it. Um, I like this product. This is not going to come off this light. Matter of fact, I might buy a backup light and then the backup switchback just to have it, just because I'm kind of a gear queer like that. Well, not a huge gear queer, but if, if it works, I like to, uh, to have a few of them. That way, I have a few setups. I can leave one in my car. I can carry one, you know, vice versa. So the Costa Theorem switchback light ring, definitely worth checking out. It's only about $20 with quick shipping. So far, I'm very pleased with it, and I think this is going to take the market for products of the like. So make sure to check them out. Make sure to use my coupon code on Squared Away Surplus. It is iDaveMore. It gives you 25% off your order, and that's at squaredawaysurplus.com. Make sure to check out my blog, iDaveMore.blogspot.com. Check out my Instagram, at iDaveMore, Twitter, at iDaveMore, all that good stuff. Um, so make sure you stop by Theorem, buy yourself a switchback, and until then, keep shooting.